take a look at the tail of the tape, same as it was last year. Alexander Usyk now 35, Anthony Joshua now 32. All the physical advantages go to Anthony Joshua. Okay, guys, I give you instruction in the dressing room. Let's have a clean match, okay? Good luck. God bless you. Three years ago, Anthony Joshua was right here on Saudi soil, attempting to win back his titles and reclaim his status as a top heavyweight. He was successful that night, but you can make the case it was the spoils that come with being a champion that beat Andy Ruiz as much as it was Joshua. This time, AJ has a strong, talented, and focused Alexander Usyk in front of him. Joshua being very smart, very economical with his punches, fighting long, Throwing right hands to the body and upstairs, but also keeping that up and down movement. Jab lands for Usyk oh. a moment ago. There's that up jab of Usyk. He can throw it from angles, Chris Algieri, that other fighters just can't. Absolutely. One, it's being for him being a southpaw, having that right hand, that lead jab in front, but also the fact that he's such a loose shouldered fighter. That front hand is so, so free flowing. Very tactical opening round for these two heavyweights. We see that up jab. I said that Usyk has a very free-flowing lead hand. He's very creative with that shot, often leading you to think that that hand's coming and then drops that left hand down the middle. Two punches that were really lacking in the first fight from Anthony Joshua were the left jab, which he didn't land many of, he landed one earlier, and that left hook to the body. Putting those in combination is a great idea for Anthony Joshua. Joshua just missed with that left hook a moment ago. Perhaps you can speak to this, the posture of Joshua seems a little bit different in this fight. You mentioned the knee bend, mm -hmm. but just overall, he seems to be approaching Usyk much differently. Absolutely, he's being more aggressive, he's being more heavy on that front foot, he's being the bigger man, but also staying low is helping him stay out of range of those shots. Yeah, Usyk is having to have to work very hard right now to stay with him, stay in this, this fight. Ooh, beautiful and right down the, the middle top. there from Joshua, final 10 seconds of an excellent round for Joshua, who sinks another right hand to the body of the champion, Alexander Usyk. A solid round for Anthony Joshua. You see him there landing the right hand over the top. There's another one right down the middle. Good left hand there from Usyk. Now tries to wrap one around the guard of Joshua. You know, I would say, say this, I mean, Joshua has had success in the early part of this fight, but the real estate this fight is taking place in, it's almost identical to where it took place in the first fight, right near the middle of the ring. But in the middle of the ring, they traded some shots, and Usyk landed a good right hook. Usyk actually put together a nice series of punches, a, a straight left hand to the pit of the stomach, and a right hook off top. Anthony Joshua, Joshua answered with a right hook himself. Here we see, as I mentioned, Usyk uses that right hand as a throwaway to mask that left hand that he throws down the middle, through the guard, and around the corner. Look back on that first fight as a masterful boxing performance from Alexander Usyk, but it wasn't like he didn't have to battle through adversity, and it wasn't like he wasn't hurt at times in that fight either. Absolutely, Corey. I mean, Joshua did a lot of really good things in that, in that fight. He's a dangerous puncher. He's a very sharp technical punch. Beautiful body work here by Joshua as Usyk touches the ropes. Final minute of round six as Joshua continuing to have success to the body when he is targeting the midsection. Here we see long one-twos down the middle and then the body work. Very, very smart. Nice adjustment. This is exactly what I called for for him to be successful in this fight was to throw straight punches down the middle where he had success in the first fight and then follow up with body shots. There it is again. Beautiful slip inside, outside. A good body shot from Joshua. There it is again. Goes back downstairs with the left hook. Certainly not a direct comparison, but I was thinking of the George Foreman and Michael Moore fight. George Foreman being the bigger guy, the power puncher, fighting the southpaw. He used sweeping left hands to walk Moore into a right hand. I feel like that would be a great tactic for Joshua. In the latter half of the eighth round here, 
Joshua has put together a couple of good sequences with body shots oh. in this round and just misses with that right hand. I think Usyk just pivoted at the right time out of the way of that one. If you're Joshua, you have to stay committed to that body. He had two really good body shots early in the round. The problem with fighting Usyk is you can never build on anything. Beautiful right uppercut to the body. Oh, and again. Back downstairs and a three-punch combination to the body as Usyk wraps him up in the center of the ring. So it would look like a little wince of pain from Usyk as he tied up. Those are some brutal body shots. Probably the best combination of the fight for Anthony Joshua. The most damaging for sure. Joshua continue to find routes to the body or use them to create a route for a big right hand. Combination from Usyk, but a slapping right hand there from Joshua as well. The elusiveness and the combination punching is, is proving difficult once again for Anthony. Ooh. Uppercut on the inside from Usyk, but body shots from Joshua. The best action of the fight at the end of round eight. And a smile from Joshua as he goes back to his corner. Here we see a great left hook to the liver by Anthony Joshua, which was a pretty consistent weapon that last round and one that he should really focus on, especially on both sides. And here we see it from the other side, the right hook and then back to the left and the right. One of the best combinations by Joshua in either of the first, uh, either of the fights. Joshua's having a good round right now. Well, is Usyk perhaps feeling the effect of these body shots now? They have shown to slow Usyk down in the past. A pair of sweeping hooks there from Joshua Connect. Joshua again to the body. Now making it rough on the inside. I love the use of the left hand by Joshua. Throwing those left hooks high and low, now making it rough. Very rough, and he'll be warned for a hammer fist there, I think, on the inside, but not for long. As Joshua now in pursuit. Usyk. He is on the run right now. 45 seconds remaining in round nine, and Joshua finally has been able to pick the safe of Alexander Usyk. Oh, nice left hook over the top. Joshua's picking his punches very smart. A sustained body attack from Anthony Joshua as he's finding true confidence in his offense for the first time in sub-21 rounds with Alexander Usyk. This has been the most dominant round that Joshua has shown in both fights. Oh, good body shot on the inside. Asserting physical dominance is Anthony Joshua. That was the idea coming into this fight, and it is coming to fruition. Trying to erase the memory oh. of an excellent round for Anthony Joshua. And some good shots land from Alexander Usyk. That check hook from Usyk was very sneaky. Oh, oh, big left hand connects for Usyk. Usyk firing back. Joshua was in a little bit of trouble here. A big reply here from Usyk after a dominant round from Anthony Joshua. Now it's Usyk who's firing away. Usyk has the tendency whenever you have a good round against him, he comes out and he makes you pay for it. Joshua is dipping right into that right hand of Usyk every time. Joshua still stalking forward. Mm. Now Usyk digs to the body. A left hand downstairs. Oh. But Joshua meets him with a right hand. That shot rocked him. That one rocked Usyk. Usyk having a look over at his corner. Now he was looking at the referee. Yeah, he, he said that low was blow. Below the was that okay? Yeah. Regardless if it was low or not, he was rocked upstairs. You know, and I've said it many times in the build-up to this fight, Anthony Joshua is dangerous at all times. He has the power, he has the sharp punching. 
And that includes when Usyk gets on a roll and is really flowing offensively. One straight right hand, and Joshua is back in the round. But look at Usyk once again, uppercut and a right hand. Now, yeah. Usyk is not your typical or a typical one-punch knockout puncher. How he hurts you, oh. how he gets knockouts, are an accumulation of punches, which we're seeing right here. Yeah, exactly. Usyk is not your typical fighter overall. He is not your typical person. So much on the line, so much on the shoulders of Alexander Usyk. That whole round could be a replay at this point. There's a big shot over the top from Alexander Usyk. He came out, guns of blazing right from the start of the round. Joshua had a great round the round before Usyk came out to to make him pay for that. And pay for that he did. Oop, there's a big shot back from Anthony Joshua. Great punches from both men. Probably the most sustained action that we've seen thus far in the series. Both men having their moments. In the corner of Anthony Joshua, in Usyk's corner, it was almost like Usyk was meditating, talking to himself, trying to find three more minutes to hold on to all of his heavyweight titles and to become the Ring Magazine heavyweight champion as well. And he can't be confident either coming into a fight like this that he's got this decision in hand. And he doesn't look like he's fighting that way either. He looks, he looks like he's coming out to win the round. Hard body shot from Joshua a moment ago. He's gonna need oh. more of those. He's gonna need shots like that one. The right hand. That was a really good straight right hand that rocked the head back of Usyk. Usyk bobbing, weaving, letting his hands go constantly. Oh, good answer with a three-punch combination from Usyk. A big right hook ended that combination. The exclamation mark from Alexander Usyk. Yeah, you're really seeing that fatigue and that frustration in Joshua right now. Oh, big, big left, left hook, hook from Joshua. A right hand as well. Good reply from Usyk as he goes back down to the body and runs a combination upstairs. And Joshua gave Usyk that opening to reply like that. If you're Anthony Joshua in this situation and you land a punch that does damage on Usyk, you've got to follow it up and sell out in this situation. Yeah, the, the sustained attack has been what's been missing from the game plan. He's been landing great shots. He's had Usyk stunned several times and hurt to the body. Great shots in the center of the ring there. The jab of Usyk, the right hand of Joshua. Joshua looking fatigued, but to his credit, trying to crowd Usyk here, but he has just 60 seconds to make something happen. And that's to your point that you said a few rounds ago, Corey. Even if he's tired, even if he's hurt, he's still dangerous. Anthony Joshua can hurt you with any punch. Oh, big right hand from Joshua, but Usyk just will not stop throwing. A defiant 12th round here from Alexander Usyk, who, guys, probably doesn't need to be trading like this with Anthony Joshua, but the heavyweight champion is acting like one right now. Before he was a champion, he was a warrior, and he's acting like one right here. He wants to put an exclamation point on this fight. Final moments of our main event. Has Alexander Usyk held on to those titles? That is it. At the end of 12 fast-paced rounds, as Alexander Usyk looks to the heavens, and what a moment here between he and Anthony Joshua. A lot of respect between these two fighters who, regardless of the outcome, two of the top five guys in the heavyweight division. Well, guys, I know fighters' reactions after the final bell, they're not always authentic, they're not always rooted in reality, but what is your opinion of the look of Anthony Joshua right now? Does he look to you like someone who thinks he won that fight? No. Yeah, he looks a lot to me like the guy at the end of the last fight who didn't look or feel like he won that fight. I mean, at the same time, Usyk didn't exactly raise his hands in celebration either, so I'm expecting these scorecards to be pretty close, but 
I thought Usyk did enough to win it. We talked about the sustained attack earlier in that last round. It just wasn't there for Anthony Joshua. Whenever he had Alexander Usyk buckled like he does right there, he didn't follow up with the kind of combinations that would change the course of this fight. Ladies and gentlemen, from Jeddah in the kingdom of Saudi Arabia, after 12 rounds of boxing, we go to the scorecards. Glenn Feldman scores it 115-113 for A.J. Anthony Joshua. Steve Gray scores it 115-113 to for Alexander Usi. And Victor Feschenko scores it 116 to 112 for the winner by split decision. And still the unified heavyweight champion of the world from Ukraine, Alexander Usi. With the weight of a nation on his shoulders, Alexander Rusev is great now the king of the heavyweight, heavyweight world. Warriors. Let's give them both a round a of A little applause. surprised, quite frankly, at the scoring for Anthony Joshua. I had it 116-112 for Alexander Rusev. I could have easily seen it 115-113 for Rusev. It was just hard to see seven rounds for Anthony Joshua, but the right guy gets the win in this fight. Alexander Usyk is the unified heavyweight champion, and we will now see whether Tyson Fury is really retired.